Our investigation into high school athletic violations continues. Valerie, you've been on this for many months. And since the baseball scandal last summer, tonight we investigate why two more teams at Sabino High School face fallout this school year. And we're getting more insight into how the system affects all student athletes in Arizona. The intense scrutiny on Sabino athletics began with the 2018 baseball team after a complaint to the Arizona Interscholastic Association, or AIA. It stripped a championship from the team for misuse of funds and recruiting violations. In September, TUSD Superintendent Gabriel Trujillo lost his AIA appeal to get back the championship, citing the district had already taken corrective action. Administration fired some of the coaches, including the head coach, Mark Chandler, and disciplined Sabino's athletic director, Jay Campos. You've heard pretty sweeping and immediate personnel actions that we've taken. Trujillo told the board to ensure the violations don't happen again at any TUSD school. He put TUSD's athletic director, Herman House, in charge. House is also the AIA board president. Trujillo says he gave House direct orders to set up professional development training for coaches starting in the 2018-19 school year. A very structured and intentional professional development for every single coach at every single level of every single Arizona Interscholastic Association athletic program we have. So Trujillo had vowed to take steps, training, to make sure the violations don't happen again. So why did the AIA drop the hammer twice on Sabino only a few months later, starting with the girls' soccer team? Sabino forced to drop three players deemed ineligible for violating club tournament rules. AIA records reveal the athletic director, Jay Campos, appealed the eligibility ruling. The board denied Sabino's request to allow the three athletes on the roster. Two sources directly connected to the soccer team tell us the conflict wasn't made clear to parents about the club tournament rules up until the 11th hour. Claims the superintendent denied during a February media briefing. Are just not accurate. We talked to AIA executive director David Hines. He explains the rules are very clear. Once the regular season starts, students cannot participate in any outside clubs, leagues or tournaments. That rule has been in, a, in effect for over 15 years, Valerie. It's not a real confusing rule. And so whose responsibility is that to get that out to the parents and the uh, students? Athletic directors and coaches. That wasn't the only girls team investigated. And coming up after the break, why the basketball team had been pulled in the middle of a state tournament, and the AIA explains why it took that action. Yeah, you're watching KGUN 9 on your side. We'll be right back. A dark cloud is cast over another Sabino team, this time the girls basketball program. The AI pulled the team from the state tournament for the same violation that led to the Sabino baseball scandal. We dig into how this could happen again. Girls basketball became the focus of another Sabino investigation into recruiting and prior contact. The AIA received this complaint on January 16th, revealing problems in the program. Two days later, TUSD self-reported the potential violations. The top-ranked Sabercats had to forfeit several games, but the team was allowed to play in the postseason tournament. While the AIA waited for Sabino's required violations report, it had placed the school on probation because the situation wasn't remedied to the board's satisfaction. Then the unexpected happened. The AIA pulled the team from the tournament after the quarterfinals. Trujillo cried foul during the February media briefing, blasting the AIA for keeping them out of the loop and taking a harsher stance against the team. I think it unfairly subjected the Sabino High School girls basketball team to a level of public humiliation that could have been avoided very quietly had the Arizona Interscholastic Association's executive director worked with his executive board to create an emergency meeting situation. So Trujillo cast blame on the AIA, but the executive director, David Hines, has a different take on what happened. He tells us the district dropped the ball. He says the AIA doesn't facilitate special meetings of the executive board unless requested by a school or district. Hines says Sabino and the district could have requested the meeting, but it did not. We were aware that they were going to forfeit some games, but they had not completed their full report. Thus, the board is not going to hear a partial report 
uh, for a discussion or a determination to be made. Did they know all that? Yes, they did. So the board had warned the district, pull the team out of the tournament before the brackets were released or risk being pulled while the postseason games are in progress. Hines says the school and district did not want to do that. Sabino finally turned in the violations report on the eve of the bracket announcement. And Hines says AIA had nothing to go on other than the what-if scenarios addressed with no time to review the report. So the board took action to remove Sabino from the tournament.